Hey everybody, it's Mike. Welcome to Chip Damage. And today we have a very special unboxing to do. We are gonna be unboxing the beautiful first four statue of Riala from Nights Into Dreams. Yes, uh, this is a figure that I ordered way back in the early days of January, 2020. And of course, due to the pandemic shipping delays and production delays, this thing took a while to get to me. It just recently arrived. I've waited over two and a half years to actually receive this statue. And I'm very happy to be unboxing and sharing it today with you. Now, if you've seen some of my prior videos, you'll know that Nights into Dreams and the whole series, uh, Journey of Dreams, it's HD remaster, are games that I hold very near and dear to my heart. Nights into Dreams, originally released on the Saturn way back in 96, is a game that I hold very close to my heart because it's just a special game with a beautiful, beautiful ambience, beautiful soundtrack. Uh, originally made by Sonic Team way back in the day. It was kind of like the mascot to the Saturn as Sonic was to the Genesis way back when. And it's a game that doesn't really get a lot of attention. Like I said, it got one sequel, one HD remake, and not a lot of merchandise. Uh, Knights and uh, his characters are like cameoed in a lot of other games. They usually show up in the background of other Sega titles like Sonic or Shenmue, what have you. But Knights itself doesn't get a lot of attention or merchandise. So a few years back when First 4 first released their Knight statue, I was very happy and surprised. If you've seen the prior video uh, where I unboxed that, review that, uh, that was a high quality statue that I'm very happy and like I said, surprised that was released. So to my absolute astonishment, a few years later when they announced this, I had to have it. Uh, not only does Knights, uh, if Knights doesn't get a lot of attention, his side characters and his kind of rogues gallery get even less. So when First 4 announced Riala back in 2020, I had to have it. And luckily I was able to snag a pre-order of the exclusive edition, which is what we'll be going over today. And uh, let's see if this was well worth the wait, shall we? So let's begin. And of course, let me get the YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like what you're about to see, please like and subscribe. So yeah, um, as you can see, first four uh, statue comes in a good sized box. Um, you know, giving you kind of a preview of what the statue is. The box itself is about 20 and a half inches tall. And um, like I said, this is the exclusive edition we'll be going over today. Uh, this figure was li limited to a print run of 350. That's, that's very small. There's only 350 of this edition out there. Uh, there are 3,000 of the regular edition out. Now, just to state what that is, um, the regular edition is just basically what you see here with the statue, but the uh, difference with the limited edition, which you can only get by pre-ordering through First Four's own website, firstfourfigures.com, is that the base will light up. Um, so that's really the main difference. Uh, in appearance wise and, and everything else, you're essentially gonna get the same thing. But I wanted this exclusive life edition. I usually get those from firstfourfigures.com because it's usually worth it. Especially in this case, because the limited and standard editions were the same price, uh, 330 US dollars. So like for no extra charge, I would get the more limited one. Of course I was gonna bite for that. And uh, first of all, is very cool with letting you know what edition you get, um, what number of that edition. I got number 289 out of 350, which matches the number uh, from Knights, he was also 289. They allow you to do that with first four if you register the product. If there's like two characters in the same series, you can get all the same number of them if you pre-order early enough. So that's what I wanted to do. So we're gonna pop this open. And of course you get your like ads for future figures. And let's see what we can do here. Inside this box is the styrofoam, it slides out relatively easy, styrofoam container. upside down nice and safe and there we have it we're going to put this box off to the side you know, like i said i waited two years for this statue and uh man i i ordered other first four figures after this and they arrived before this statue for whatever reason this one seemed to get an extra delay uh and yeah now i'm gonna to move that for a moment as you can see, hopefully you can see that on the camera, there's like an embossed, like raised image of Riala on the styrofoam. I love that. It's a nice little presentational touch. Uh, they don't need to do that. I mean, hopefully people don't throw these boxes out too readily because it's the best way to transport them if you like move or need to store them. But you know, it's a nice little extra touch. And on the other side, you have the first four logo and where that little divot in the center is, is what I have right here. And I can't show the camera the front of the card because someone may register my figure. But um, every first four figure comes with these little like credit card things with a registration number on it. You go on to first four's website, you pop in this number, they know that you have this edition and they give you some credit towards your next purchase. It's a nice thing they do. It's like every 
hundred points you get, you get a dollar off. Uh, it's like every penny you spend there, uh, or every dollar you spend there, you get a penny off your next purchase. So like these are three hundred dollars, you get thirty dollars off your next purchase. It's not bad. But uh, let's open this bad boy up. Use a box cutter on the tape around the sides here. And yeah, like I said, uh, shocked that this actually got a release. This is, I can imagine a character that's not highly in demand. So someone at first form must just be a Knights of the Dreams fan, which I just love uh, that they were able to do that. So I'm gonna open this guy up. And yeah, okay. Everything seems to be nice and packaged neatly, but we're gonna be very careful here. First floor packaging is usually pretty sturdy, but back right here, we have the base, as I can see, which is a good weight. And it looks to be already that it has the same flat base as the Knights, uh, Knights of him, like the character Knights is base it seems to line up with that this starry base which is beautiful i love that um and as you can see they handwrite the number of which figure you got in the bottom yet again 289 that's drawn with a sharpie you can tell so someone's like going around and hand numbering these and there's 350 of these and 3,000 of those standards so you can imagine that probably takes some time in of itself base is a good weight sturdy uh this is definitely the light up cloud i wouldn't grab it by this i could already tell that would not be a good idea but let's get a look, let's put you to the side for a minute, at the boy himself, Riala. I said, I said Riala for years, because like Knights has no dialogue, it's one of my favorite things about it, but when, like, it's a pun, like, you know, dreams in real, so like I thought like his enemy would be Riala, but it's I've, in Journey of Dreams where they do talk, they say Riala, it's slowly grown on me. Oh man, look at this guy. Yes. Look at this. This is, oh, this is just wonderful. This is definitely uh, Riala in his uh, journey of dreams um, form, where it's a little bit more frilled, a little bit more Bowie-esque, if you will, a little bit more Cirque du uh, Soleil. Um, and I must say, I'm impressed with this. Uh, the pose is badass. As you can see, he's got like tights, or maybe it's his skin with kind of like a bat design, like bat uh, bats all over it. Uh, the face looks excellent. Um, good weight to it. Like I said, I would definitely hold it by this. I wouldn't grab him by his head, but, uh, yeah, this, this is very nice. I'm, I'm digging here. There's like a reflective, uh, coating to his eyes. Um, I really like this logo, these like red swirls on his kind of gauntlets there, which are also on his hip pauldrons right there. Uh, the feathers around the mask are real nice. The feathered, uh, like neck piece, the neck ruff and the shiny jewel in the center. This this is very nice. Um, but let's put this all together, shall we? I said, Knights, Knights probably will never get another game uh, mainline, but I would be down for just another HD re-release on modern consoles. You can't really bring forward the PS3 version and the 360 version. Is, you know, they're getting old now. Those are over a decade old. But I would love, like, another modern just re-release, maybe with Journey of Dreams, which this and the prior Knight statue figure unboxing I did is more based on rather than the original uh, kind of simpler design of Knights that went with the more flourished Journey of Dreams designs. Now, while I may prefer the Saturn designs uh, a little bit more for their simplicity, I must say the Journey of Dreams designs kind of grew on me. And that's kind of the default design like it, that, that they do now. Like they don't make, uh, First War didn't do a Into Dreams version. They only did these Journey of Dreams versions. Like I said, they're beautiful, especially in 3D. I'm glad that uh, things like this are keeping it alive. And wow, would you look at that on the base? That's that's excellent. Yeah, this one's going right in the display case right next to Knights. I like the kind of um, powerful stance there. Now, uh, Knights itself is androgynous. Like it's supposed to be able to be represented by male or female. Um, it's kind of like a dream id thing in the story. And I guess so is Riala, but Riala um, is definitely more masculine. He's a bit more bulky. Um, and, and in the Journey of Dreams ones where they are voiced, it is a very male-centric voice. So I usually refer to uh, Riala as a he. And uh, this one, as you can see, is about uh, on the base, just about at 13 inches tall. That's that's not too huge. Um, and I like that because I'm running out of space in the, in the, uh, in the booth there uh, for all my toys. And um, this would be the... Uh, 
charging cable, which I'm glad it came with, but it doesn't come with a plug to charge the base to allow this to light up, which we can go over in a later video where I like plug it in and everything and charge her up. But luckily the newer first four figures, they don't come with uh, just battery slots. Um, some of the older first four figures would come with just like double A battery slots that you could put in to light up. But you know, if, oh wow, it has a charge. If you, uh, oh, we're gonna show that off. Um, these are just rechargeable. They give you USB, which is great because like the batteries won't, you know, explode and leak acid if you forget that they're in there. But yeah, all right, let's see if we can show that. One click of the button on the back lights up the clouds and it looks nice. Uh, it's nice and evenly dispersed all the way throughout. I'm surprised it has a charge. And then if you click it, oh, look at that, it travels. That's a newer feature. Not all the first four figures have that, but you can clearly see that that light travels throughout the cloud. And that, that is a beautiful effect. Now, I typically don't leave these figures lit up for too long because if they die, if the lights inside of them die, which has happened on some prior figures, you can't open these up to change the bulbs inside. Like you just, you can't do it. Uh, so you're just gonna have like, you try to light it up and like half of it will light up. It, it's unfortunate, but um, it is nice to put on display every once in a while. So yeah, this is what you'd be getting. And the third click of the button right here on the back would, uh, would turn it off, but let's leave that flowing for a little bit. The charge port is in the base right here, as you can see, you plug this right in, boom, boom. It's a decent length cord, let's see. Yeah, so you know, you find the uh, kind of USB wall outlet, plug in for that, and you'd be able to charge this bad boy up. And uh, yeah, well worth the wait. Um, I wouldn't say it's of a particularly heavy figure, but it's not sturdy. There's not too many weak points. His legs are skinny, but this thing isn't as top heavy as it looks. So you wouldn't have to be too delicate with it. And, uh, yeah, Riala waited two years for you. And I can, I couldn't imagine another character they're going to do first four for a uh, night. So this is probably the last in that line, but Hey, you never know. Maybe they'll do Jackal or wise man or whatever. Um, but I'm happy with, I was happy with Knights. Now I'm happy to have his rival right next to him, Riala. And yeah, what a beautiful statue. I must say, first four keeps knocking out of the park. They've never really disappointed me with their figures. But uh, especially on these like kind of more niche ones, like, you know, it's not Sonic, it's not Zelda. Like this is a very, for a particular audience niche product. And I'm glad someone at first four is still giving those some love. So thank you for joining me for this unboxing. If you have any questions about the figure itself, please leave them in the comments below. Please let me know if you're a Knights fan. Please let me know like that you're out there. It's not a lot of us guys. Not many people are old enough or cared enough about Knights to buy something like this. So let me know, did you get this statue? Do you have any questions about this statue? I'll be happy to answer them. And like I said, uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you've seen here today. And please check back for later for other videos. I have video game reviews, unboxings, and what have you. Um, my name is Mike, and thank you so much for joining me today.